These people, the, 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 the Labor Party, seem to believe if we just rewrite the Constitution, that will fix everything. It's, we all know, the reason it lost, we know because the Constitution is a legal document, it's the most important legal document in Australia, we don't want to fiddle with it. But they think if we fiddle with this, if we put an extra paragraph here or an extra paragraph there, magically everything will get better. I mean, one of their, their committed beliefs is if we just become a republic. I mean, it's, it's only a little thing and it will change everything and magically the world will glow wonderfully for us. Uh, and the, 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 the Republicans still believe that. Thomas Keneally is a great Australian novelist, Booker Prize winner, author of Schindler's List and lots of other wonderful novels and a nice bloke. Tom is a lovely bloke. And he had a piece in The Australian Today in which he said, because we're not a republic, we're just a pretend country. <laughs> we're not a real country. We, we have pretend allegiances, a secondary entity to the primary Westminster and United Kingdom. Our swimmers and tennis players will never save us from this ridiculousness of not being a uh, dinkum. But, of course, if we suddenly cease to have any connection with Britain and pretend our history didn't happen, he's wrong. The whole Republican movement is based on the mistaken belief that we don't have an Australian head of state. We do. The Governor-General is the head of state. That, and he's an Australian. We discovered this for certain when the, the correspondence between Sir John Kerr and the Palace was released. Mm. The Palace was giving him his head. Mm. They were letting him call the shots. He decided because he was the head of state. And my old friend David Flynn tells me there's actually a decision by the High Court from the early 1900s saying the Governor-General is the head of state. So what the actual situation... See, this, they don't like facts. The Republicans don't like facts. The actual factual situation is we have both an Australian head of state and a king. They've got this big move to get rid of the king, which has got to be the lowest priority in anyone's <laughs> life. I, I agree with you that I like Thomas Keneally. Schindler's List was a great yes, read. Yes. But his column in The Australian today, honestly, was rubbish. I mean, he reverted to just cheap insults. We're a pretend nation. We're yes, not fair yeah. income because we're not a republic. And, and then he went on to say that... Uh, Becoming a republic is more than symbolic, it's constitutional. Well, exactly, it is constitutional, <laughs> and that's why so many of us are reticent about it, because you're going to change a democracy that's worked very, very well for a couple of hundred years without any disasters. Then we're going to end up with, what, President Kevin Rudd or uh, someone of that ilk, and uh, tell me things are going to be better. Explain to me how it will be so, other than cheap shots, like, well, we're just a pretend nation. The other thing he said, which I thought is an interesting trick that the left play, he said, uh, since the referendum on the monarchy, which he did not mention was overwhelmingly... Uh, <laughs> unsuccessful. <laughs> well, yeah, the referendum on the republic was unsuccessful. It's number 60 this is what he said. He said, we haven't talked much about a monarchy since. We don't hear people... Uh, making an oath to uh, the royal family. We don't see the royal family referred to at public events. And so, you know, it's kind of disappeared. We're seeing this with Australia Day, right? Mm. They get rid of all references to these things and then they make the argument, see, no one cares anymore. Yeah, it's less and less popular. What... I, I cannot believe but anyone looking at the current ruling class in this country, our current lot of leadership, would want to give them more power because that's essentially what a republic is. Because yeah. not yes, only is yes, our constitutional yep. monarchy an important part of our heritage, we would not be here without it, it also serves as a very small safety catch. And you've all already referred to an instance in which that was employed, uh, Gigi Kerr, as I refer to him, which I agree was, you know... Too to this day, very controversial what happened there. But he but did it. An Australian did it. A an Australian did it. And that is the point that needs to be made because the Republicans just seem to be selling this to people, lying out of, out of both sides of their mouths. They don't actually have a solid argument, which is why it's never got up. And the polls show that where we have one, where if we had another referendum, it wouldn't get up again. Yep. Yep. And, and if they're saying there's no interest in the monarchy, did they not notice how the public responded when Queen Elizabeth II died? They were not paying attention, James, mm. were they? Uh, look, the, the monarchy will carry on for a number of years yet, and the Albanese government has already recognised that, that the, yes. uh, yep. the Republic is a no-go. They've put it on the back bench, though, of course, they still have an assistant minister for a republic <laughs> because it's all about jobs and power.